Hey everybody, I'm back to show some more babies from the 2020 hatching season. So you guys know that I do quite a bit with genetic stripes. I'm really working hard on the Orange Dream genetic stripe project and the Leopard genetic stripe project and probably mixing both of them together, which is exactly what I did. Uh, I, so I brought a pastel leopard het stripe to an OD fire stripe. And I wanna show you some of the couple, I'm only gonna show you the, the cool babies in this clutch. I wanna get through these kinda quick so I can show you more stuff. This is an OD leopard genetic stripe. Now the leopard kind of darkened the overall color a little bit. It, the OD isn't, you know, it's not a super, super bright orange snake, um, but you could see it, it definitely, it's not just a regular leopard genetic stripe. Leopard genetic stripes are really dark brown with black, really thick black stripes on either side of the back. Um, so I wanna see what happens when you get uh, a super OD version of this and potentially maybe get Enchi into this, something to, to kind of brighten the colors up even more. But I was really, really happy with how that, that striping stayed so nice and bold. And then here's another that I hatched from this clutch. So I, I didn't really want to have pastel mixed in with OD because um, it just kind of confuses things a little bit. But the only breeder male that I had this year is a pastel leopard het genetic stripe. This upcoming season, 2021, I'll be breeding a, a visual uh, leopard genetic stripe with no other genes in it to all of my females. So I, this is either, it, well, it's definitely a pastel genetic stripe. It's not a leopard, I don't think, um, but I believe it's OD and it also may be a fire. So it's either OD or fire. It's definitely one of the two and possibly both. And that's a male. The, the, the OD or orange dream genetic stripe is a female. And then this is a male. So I'm, I'm going to actually probably keep both of these and raise them up and, um, and I'll, you know, cross them into other leopard stuff and orange dream stuff and see what I can get out of it. So I just wanted to share those two. This one, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but it's really, really bright, bright yellow, like a lot nicer than a typical um, pastel genetic stripe would be. Really happy with these. Okay, now I wanna show you something else. The odds gods were shining down on me again and um, gave me some a great result on a uh, Ultramel Pied Clutch. Uh, so this clutch is from an Ultramel Pied that's Het Hypo bred to a triple Het Ultramel Hypo Pied. And here's what I got. A normal. And that's it. No, just kidding. Here's a Pied. And that's it. Just kidding. Here is an Ultramel Hypo. So, and that's a male. So he's 100% Het Pied. This one is 100% Het Ultramel, 100% Het Pied, 66% Het Hypo. This guy here is 100% Het Ultramel, 66% possible Het Hypo. And now, look at these. One, two, three, and four. So I only produced two clutches of vis visual Ultramel Pides this year. And I got a total of seven Ultramel Pieds. And these are, there's three males and one female. I think this one is the female. Yeah, this one's the female. And then three males. And my last clutch had three females in it, uh, two of which were twins. And I think I showed, I did show those on a video earlier this year, probably, I don't know, back in, 
September, I think. August or September. I really, really love Ultra Mel Pides. I just think there's so much potential. I'm working on getting Pinstripe into this, Enchi, uh, a, a number of other genes as well. Just really, really fantastic snakes. And I can't believe the odds that I've had. It's weird, some recessive projects, I just have the worst odds in the world on, and others, I hit on them all the time. And the Ultra Mel Pied is one that I've been hit on, hitting on quite a bit. I've probably produced 11 or 12 overall, um, and you know, seven of them were this year. So couldn't be happier with this clutch. Wish there were more females in this clutch. It'd be awesome if these three were females, because um, I do seem to hit on kind of a high male ratio with this project overall, but I'm not gonna complain. I love them. All right, so that's it for this time. Um, I'm gonna actually shoot another video right now, so you guys will be seeing that probably within just a few days. Um, I've still got some awesome stuff to show you. Uh, so, too much, actually. I wish you guys could all come here and see my facility and you know we can pull open drawers all day together and take a look at all these things. It's actually really, I love doing that kind of thing because it's nice to actually just open a drawer and just to appreciate the animals and not just have to open up the drawer to feed it or water it and clean it. It's nice to just kind of, just look at everything. I mean, it, you know, I got into this because I, I love the unique colors and patterns and everything. And I don't often get the chance to just kind of, you know, just stare at them and marvel at how awesome they are. So anyway, I'll show you as many of them as I can though. I'll be you know, putting out a lot of videos over the winter and it is winter here in Wisconsin now, even though it's still October. Uh, I think we got three inches of snow a couple days ago and we're about 20 degrees below average for temperature. So yeah, winter is coming and I think it's here already. So, uh, yeah, I gotta deal with all that. Um, but anyway, stay tuned. I'll put out, I'm, I'm gonna shoot another video right now. You guys will be seeing it in a few days and then uh, I will start doing more. So uh, stay tuned and also make sure to visit my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com and also please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot and I'll see you guys soon.